Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies. In this week's video, I'm going to show how materials cached locally inside an inventor part file can be updated from the external materials libraries as used in versions 2013 and 2014. Here, I have a part shown in Autodesk Inventor 2014. The first thing I'm going to do is switch to Tools and Material and look at my material libraries. In the top section, I can see the different materials that are cached in my local file. Hovering over the material, I can see that this material differs from what is stored in the external library. In the lower portion of the dialog box, I can see my external libraries here below. Closing this dialog box, I'm going to switch to the Manage tab and choose Update. In this case, I'm going to choose the Autodesk Material Library. This just happens to be the library I'm working with. You can also use these steps with any other libraries you might be using. Here I see the different materials that disagree with what I have in my external materials library. I can choose to update individuals, or I can select the Yes to All button and update all the materials if I choose. I'll go ahead and select Yes to All, hit OK, Inventor will tell me it's going to update them and discard any local changes that I might have, which is just a warning to make sure that this is really what I want to do. I'll hit Yes, and the updates will occur. As a matter of fact, you'll notice that the part did change color, reflecting the update in the material. Now I can just save this file, all is good, and I'm ready to go again. So that's it, just a quick tip on updating your material library from the external library and making sure any local cached materials are in agreement with what you have. That's it for this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch, everyone.